Hi guys, welcome to fifth grade chapter four, lesson five. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. Number two says Kimmy's savings account has a balance of $76.23 in June. By September, her balance is five times that. Okay, between September and December, she deposits a total of $87.83. If she doesn't take out any money, how much will her balance be in December? Okay, so we're gonna start by multiplying what she started with times five because that's what it is by June, okay? Or sorry, by September, okay? So five times three is 15. Five times two is 10 plus one is 11, carry one. Five times six is 30 plus one is 31. Five times seven is 35 plus three is 38, okay? Now we went in one, two places here. We need to go in one, two places there. So currently her balance in September would be $381.15, okay? But it says then she deposits $87.83. Remember to line up your decimals when you are adding and subtracting decimals, okay? So now we're gonna go ahead and add. So five plus three is eight. One plus eight is nine. Bring my decimal down. One plus seven is eight. Eight plus eight is 16. Carry the one and one plus three is four. So your answer will be $468.98. Okay? Two-step problems, guys. Okay? All right. Amy raises $58.75 to participate in a walkathon. Jeremy raises $23.25 more than Amy. Okay. Oscar raises three times as much as Jeremy. So I'm going to go ahead and write this out. Okay. A, Amy, okay, is $58.75. Jeremy. He raised what Amy raised plus $23.25. And Oscar raised what Jeremy did times three. Okay? All right. So, first, we need to add up what Amy and Jeremy, or the extra that Jeremy raised on top of Amy, so that we know how much Jeremy raised. Okay? So, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go 58.75. Plus 23.25. Okay, so I lined up my decimals. I'm going to go ahead and add them up after I drop my decimals. So 5 plus 5 is 10, carry the 1. 1 plus 7 is 8, plus 2 more is 10, carry the 1. 1 plus 8 is 9, plus 3 more is 12, carry the 1. 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 2 is 8. So Jeremy raised $82 even, okay? Now, Oscar raised $82 times three. So again, I need to do 82 times three, okay? So three times two is six, and three times eight is 24, so $246. Okay, so how much money does Oscar raise? Well. Don't forget your dollar sign. That's your word answer. Oscar raised $246. Okay. All right. Now, it costs $5.50 an hour to rent a pair of ice skates for two hours. Okay. So for each hour, that's $5.50. Okay. So, for two hours, okay, so we have to multiply that by two. It costs $5.50 per hour for two hours, okay? So $5.50 for two hours, okay? After two hours, the rental car, the, the rental cost per hour decreases to $2.50. So how much would it cost for four hours? So then we have $2.50 times another two hours because that would be four hours. Two hours and two hours is four hours, okay? So 
we multiply these and then we need to add them up. Okay, well, I know that $5 and $5 is $10 and then 50 cents and 50 cents is a dollar, making that $11. Okay, I also know that to $2 is $4 plus 50 cents and 50 cents is going to be $5. I'm going to add those up and get $16. Don't forget your dollar sign. Okay. Okay. Not bad, guys. Okay. You guys are going to turn it over. You guys are going to do the lesson check. You totally can. Okay. And we are going to go ahead and do the spiral review. Okay. I'm going to zoom us in a little bit. Okay. So now we love exponents because it just tells us how many times we're going to multiply it. So 10 is always my base with these. And there's one, two, three, four of them. My exponent is four. Super easy. Okay. What number represents 125.638 rounded to the nearest hundred? Well, let me rewrite this so that we can see it a little bit bigger here. Okay. This is the tenth. This is the hundredth. So this is the hundredth. Okay. So what number represents that? Is Okay, so we're going to round to that. So all the numbers before that stay the same. Okay, so all of these numbers stay the same. So we're still going to have 125.6. We just need to look at the 8 now and see if the 8 tells the 5 to go up, or sorry, tells the 3 to go up or stay the same. Well, 8 is bigger than 5, so we need to bump that 3 up to a 4. And now we're done. Okay. So now it says the sixth graders at Meadowbrook Middle School are going on a field trip. The 325 students and adults will ride in school buses. Each bus holds 48 people. How many buses are needed? So there are 325 people and 48, but 48 people per bus. So now we need to find out how many buses we need to take, okay? So 48 is really close to 50. And I know that I'm going to come over here and I'm going to write my multiples of 48 because I don't know those off the top of my head. Okay. I know as far as 48 and 96. So I'm going to go ahead. No shame in my game. I'm going to use my calculator to find my multiples of 48. So 48 times 3 is 144. Okay. I'm going to, because we need to get all the way up to 325, I'm going to go ahead and go further up. Um, let's do 48 times 6. That's 288, so not quite. 48 times 7 is 336. So maybe it was 6, okay? So let's go 48 and 6 is 288, okay? All right, so times six was 288, okay? Now, when I subtract, five can't take away eight, so I have to borrow one, making that 15, okay? 15 take away eight is seven, one can't take away eight. I'm gonna borrow that, make it 11, okay? So now I have 37 left over. Now I can't make those 37 people walk, so I'm gonna have to, make that seven buses okay because you have your six buses plus we can't leave these guys hanging okay so we need to add a bus okay all right a restaurant can seat 100 people okay it's booths it has booths that seat four people and tables that seat six people so far, five of the booths are full, okay? So we didn't actually need to know this information, okay? So booths that seat four people, okay? 100 people. So far, five of the booths are full, okay? So what expression matches the situation? Well, it has 100 people it can seat, and it has... Five of the booths that each hold four people are already full. So we're going to take those away. That's it, guys. That's your whole expression. 
Okay, good job. Thanks for hanging out for 4.5. Come on back for 4.6.